Sae no muya. Chinga kichon si. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tebuni salimia hivi hayawani jameni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asanteni sana. Mimi kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi ya kufika hapa kisi kwa mara nyingine tena nilikuwa hapa mapema e, mwakani lakini leo nimefika hapa kwa ibada hii maalum ibada ya shukurani tumekuja hapa kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ni wa ajabu ametufanyia mambo mengi mazuri hasa mwaka uliopita tulikuwa na uchaguzi Mungu akatusaidia sote tukawa na uchaguzi wa amani tukawa na uchaguzi ambao haukutukawanya hauku kama wa Kenya uchaguzi ambao ulituweka pamoja na uchaguzi ambao ulimaliza ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya na ndio tuko na sababu nifike hapa kisi na niwashukuru viongozi hawa wa dini kwa kutuongoza katika ibada hii maalum ya shukurani ndugu wananchi wa kisi mimi nataka niseme asante sana nilikuja hapa mara nyingi niliwasumbua sana eh mara mnanikuta nimefika kidogo kidogo nimefika tena nikiomba kura zenu mkawa ni watu wavumilivu mkawa ni watu waaminifu na mkatupatia kura zenu mkatuongezea hata na maombi Mungu naye akatupatia ushindi mimi nasimama mbele yenu kusema asante sana Sijui kama watu wa Kisii mmenisikia yaani nimesema asante sana na na washukuru sana kwa sababu sisi wote mnao tuona hapa kama viongozi siasa hii iko na mtindo yake mara tunasukumana mara hatuelewani mara tunagombana lakini mwisho ninyi kama wananchi wa Kenya ndio wenye kuamua vile mumeamua tuko hapa na MCS wamechaguliwa kwa vyama tofauti tuko na wabunge tuko na senator governor women rep tuko na rais wa Kenya mimi nataka niwaambie kwa niaba ya hawa viongozi wote waliochaguliwa ndugu wananchi wa Kisi asanteni sana kwa kura zenu na vile nimeona viongozi wameongea hapa nataka niungane na wao niwaambie mimi kama rais wa Kenya nitaungana na hawa ndugu zangu viongozi wote tushikamane na tufanye kazi kwa manufaa ya wale wote waliojitolea na kutupa nafasi ya uongozi we are going to work together as leaders na ndio sababu mimi nakuja hapa kila mara kwa sababu mimi naelewa ya kwamba uongozi inatoka kwa Mungu hakuna mtu anachaguliwa kwa bahati mbaya ama kwa makosa every leader is elected na Mungu amekubali so tutashirikiana tufanye kazi kwa pamoja na wauliza viongozi wenzangu wote sote tuheshimiane tukae pamoja tupange pamoja tusukume mambo ya maendeleo pamoja pale mbele hawa wananchi ni watu wenye hekima nyingi wanajua ni nani atafanya kazi ni nani hajafanya kazi ni nani amezembea kazini na wataamua vile mambo itakwenda kwa taifa letu la Kenya so it's our opportunity na nikiwa hapo vile vile ni seme ya kwamba mambo ya viongozi hawa wananchi waliamua tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mwaka uliopita wakaamua MCS wakaamua wabunge wakaamua viti vyote 
Seneta Gapana ya Rais. Na wananchi wamemaliza sehemu yao. Wametupatia nafasi ya uongozi. Ile kazi imebaki sasa ni ya wananchi hawa. Kwa sababu yetu walitumalizia. Ama kuna yenye mulibakisha. Kuna kitio yote bado mnangojea kuamua. Muliamua yote mkamaliza. Sasa kwa sababu ya viongozi ilisha amuliwa. Na tumepatiwa na fasi ya uongozi. Sasa na sisi kazi ambayo imebakia ni kuwafanyia hawa wananchi kazi. Tushikirikiane, tufanye kazi kwa pamoja, ndio tusukume maendeleo ya kisi na Kenya mbele. Na kwa hiyo mpango, mimi nataka ni waeleze, you can count on me 100% as you plan the development and the progress of this county as we do it for the rest of the Republic of Kenya. Tuta shirikia rahivyo. Mimi na wawuliza ndugu viongozi wetu wa dini, wazidi na kutuombea, ili tuyatekeleze na tuyatimize yale ambayo yata wafaidi na kuporesha maisha ya wa Kenya na pia ya ambatane na pia ya lingane na mapenzi ya Mungu katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nawashukuru sana kwa kazi zote ambazo tunashirikiana kufanya pamoja. Wacha niseme kwa njia ya kipekee kwa sababu leo ni ibada ya shukurani. Ni washukuru kwa kunipa mjumbe hapa Nyaribari chache. Huyu kijana chihanda. Huyu chanda huyu ni mtu ni metembe na ye safari murefu. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana for electing this young man. Na mi nataka ni washukuru sana watu wakisi. Na mi minataka ni wakikishie ya kwamba Mbali na kufanya kazi na huyu, pia nita mutrain, pia apande pande ya elewe bile mambo itakwenda hapo mbele. Kwa sababu sasa, mimi pia ni mwalimu wa siyasa kiasi. So, nita wafanyu ya mentorship. Nataka bile bile ni washukuru kwa kunipatia huyu mungwana kijana nyakundi. Among the youngest members of parliament, very hard working young man ambaye sasa ni mwenyekiti ama ni treasurer wa chama yetu ya UDA. Again, I want to say thank you very much. Nataka vile vile nirudie niseme asante sana kwa mtoto wa pasta. Eh? Huyu Miruga huyu, asante sana for electing him in UDA. I want to say thank you uh, very much. And not to forget the chief whip of the Republic of Kenya. Uyu Silvana Sosoro ni mtu mwenye bidii sana. Hatuku mpatia hawe chief whip kwa sababu tulikosa mtu ama kwa sababu alikuwa mkisi hapana. Ni kwa sababu anatoshana na iyo kazi. Ni mtu wa bidii ni mtu wa mbae akona mpango na miswada yetu yote katika bunge pale hayajakwama hayajasliki huyu mungwana ameifanyia kazi nataka niseme congratulations my friend for doing a good job you have my support my goodwill and continue to serve the republic of kenya ile kazi huko nae siyo ya south mungirango ni ya dunia yote hii and I want to thank the great people of South Mugirango for giving me this young man to work with me. Nataka ni washukuru pia kwa wale wengine wote, MCAs, wote wa Kenya Kwanza na viti zile zingine, mimi nataka ni semi asante sana. Mimi pia nataka ni washukuru. Hata kwa wale ndugu zetu, kina Simba Arati na wale wengine walichaguliwa kwa vya mazingine, we are one team. Sasa tushirikiane tupeleke kisi mbele. That's what we want to do. 
kwa sababu ni Mungu yule yule ndiye ametuweka tukapata huu nafasi ama hii nafasi ya uongozi na wale wengine wote ambao tumewajumuisha katika kazi hii katika nyathi mbalimbali mbali, eh, mawaziri na wale wengine wote na wacha niseme shukrani pia kwa huyu mzee huyu eh, Ezekiel Ezekiel Machogu really energized our campaign in this area huyu Simba Rati alikuwa ametulemea sana mpaka siku ile machogu alimpika alipofika akamupunguzia speed kidogo ndio tukapata hata kupumua <laughs> so tunashukuru sana na team yetu yote i know we had a big team i can't mention everybody lakini wacha ni mimi niseme our very big team here in kisi thank you very much i know we have mcs here Uh, I should have mentioned their names. I know we have other leaders uh, who also participated in this campaign. Mimi nataka niwashukuru sana. Ile kitu nawauliza sasa ni kwamba uchaguzi iko nyuma yetu. Ile iko mbele yetu sasa ni kuungana, kushirikiana ili tuweze kutekeleza yale mambo yatabadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. Uh, najua mjumbe wenu wa hapa ameongea mambo ya hapa. Moja amesema ya Ibeno hapa KMTC ama pale Ibeno. Mimi najua kwa sababu ya siasa mbaya ya watu kidogo kidogo hiyo project ilikuja ikakwama. Lakini Mungu ni nani? Si mimi ndio rais leo. So hiyo hiyo college yenu nitajenga hivyo mfuko na wasiwasi. Um, bile bile ameniambia e, kuhusu mambo ya mabarabara. Nyinyi mnajua barabara zote zilikwama Kenya karibu mwaka na nusu kabla ya uchaguzi. Na ilikwama kwa sababu hatukuwa na mpango mzuri ya kutafuta vile resources ya taifa itapatikana ndio tuweze kuendelesha miradi yetu na ndio sababu mliona katika budget nikasema lazima kama taifa we must make the difficult decisions we cannot continue to borrow money left right and center because we are endangering the future of our country mimi nataka niwashukuru wa Kenya kwa sababu sote sasa tumekubaliana tutatafuta rasilimali zetu kama taifa through raising local resources na kupitia hiyo barabara ndio nimeweka katika budget ya mwaka huu shilingi bilioni 265 ya mabarabara zetu budget imepita mwezi moja imepita si ndio si hawa jamaa wamepitisha budget juzi sasa na panga hiyo vile hiyo pesa itapatikana ndio nikuje nianzishe hizi barabara zote so msikwe na wasiwasi hiyo wasi, barabara yote mjumbe wenu wamesema na zile zingine zimesemwa na viongozi wengine hapa uh, we now have a plan a proper plan on how we are going to complete all stalled uh, roads because they have been stalled for more than a year and a half more than actually two years but we now have a comprehensive plan on how we are going to complete all those roads na nimesema tutapunguza kuanzisha barabara mpya mpaka tukamilishe zile ambazo tulianzisha kwanza kwa sababu it will be reckless for us to leave roads that are already started twende tuanzishe zingine tukamilishe kwanza zile zote ambazo zilikuwa zimeanzishwa alafu tutaona mahali ambapo hakukuwa na barabara yoyote ndio tutaweka barabara mpya lakini mahali popote penye barabara iko ambayo ilikuwa imeanzishwa tutakamilisha hiyo kwanza and then we will see what to do next we must be prudent in the way we manage how we deploy our development programs vile vile eh ameniuliza mjumbe wenu kwa niaba ya wale wengine wote hata wale walisema pia mambo ya maji mama wenu wa county amesema pia mambo ya maji mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu wa hapa kisi 
maji ni sehemu moja ya mpango wa serikali yetu and therefore i want to commit to you that we have a comprehensive plan on water vile nilikuja hapa kigati siku ile niliwaambia tutawapatia milioni 300 ya kusambaza hiyo maji we have that money tumefanya tender tumemaliza hata mjumbe wenu alisema pipes ya kwanza ya 20 million imefika last week i want to tell you it is going to be not a 20 million project it's going to be a 300 million project so ile pipes imetangulia msifikirie ndio hiyo hiyo ndio yote naona mjumbe wenu kidogo anawaka moto anafikiri imeishi hapo relax tuliza boli my friend mambo iko sawa <laughs> I made a commitment in public and that is what's going to happen. So our ministry is moving on with that program. Niliwaambia vile vile tuko na maji ya ugembo. Tumepanga panga maji ya ku expand program pale ugembo ambaye itakava eh eh Omachoge, Chache na Borabu. So that program we are working on it. Uh, it is part of my plan and we will let you know before the end of this year tumefanya utafiti na tunaona pengine itatugarimu karibu milioni 800 we are working on it we have found the development partners that are going to work with us ndio tuhakikisha kwamba sehemu hiyo pia inapata maji ile niliwaambia ya bunyunyu hapa juu it is part of our ppp program ya public private partnership program which is ongoing nitarudi hapa hivi karibuni tukisha kamilisha hiyo mpango ndio tukuje tu hakikisha kwamba hiyo maji inafikisha maji kwa watu wa Nyamira na vile vile watu wa sehemu hii vile vile um, mjumbe wenu amesema kuhusu stadium ya hapa na governor wetu amesema ya kwamba hako tayari kuchangia katika eh, kutengeneza stadium hapa mimi nakubali ya kwamba hii stadium tutajenga pamoja so nakuuliza governor nitamwambia waziri wangu ashirikiane na wewe ndio tuingize hii Nyantrago stadium katika program yetu alafu atakueleza vile the money will roll in and you can work together to design and to make sure that we have a fit for purpose stadium in this uh, space vile vile tulikubaliana ya kwamba hii shamba kubwa mko naye hapa tutawasaidiana na nyinyi katika planning ndio tuhakikishe what other infrastructure can be put here ambaye inaweza kusaidia watu wa sehemu hii so that we can jointly uh, work uh, together mumesema vile vile na nimeongea na viongozi wenu kuhusu mambo ya Um, airport mnajua airport yetu pale Suneka ilipata matatizo kwa sababu ya runway na mambo mengine na town na nimekubali ya kwamba hiyo airport ya town ya Suneka tutai decommission alafu ile ardhi tukubaliane na county vile tunaweza kutumia katika miradi ingine ambayo inaweza kusaidia county ya Kisi among us them of course is to develop our affordable housing program and many other programs that will serve the interest of uh, Kisi as a county lakini vile uh, niliwaahidi hawa viongozi wakati nilikuja na tukaongea nilisema ya kwamba pale uh, Nyamira walikuwa wametupatia pia ardhi ya airport lakini vile uh, watafiti wetu waliangalia wakasema pale itakuwa ngumu kutengenezwa airport tumejaribu three different designs na haijafaulu so nafikiri sasa mkubaliane kama mtakubaliana hii ya nyangusu hapa basi tutakuwa tayari kuitengeneza na i want the leaders of the two counties to sit down please with a lot of respect so that we can harmonize our thoughts and we can then begin the program ya kujenga hii airport hapa ndio iweze kusaidia vile mumesema watu wa Nyamira, watu wa Kisi, watu wa Narok na wale wengine wote ambao wataweza kutumia hiyo um, facility ya airport hapo. 
Um, nataka vile vile niseme ya kwamba katika mpango yetu ya kukuza uchumi because we can talk about development but we must also talk about the economy what are we doing about the economy about the things that matter to ordinary people ndio watu tuinue maisha yao mimi nawashukuru sana wakati tulikuwa na uchaguzi vile waziri machogu amesema Tulikuwa na changamoto kubwa ya CBC watu hawakuelewa watoto wetu watasoma namna gani Kulikuwa na ugomvi mkubwa na watu hawakuwa na muongozo wa kutosha Na niliwaeleza ya kwamba we are going to sort out the challenges we had with CBC I am happy to say that hiyo shida tulikuwa naye na CBC tumeitatua kamilifu tumeongea na stakeholders wote na lazima nishukuru waziri Machogu for leading that team and leading that effort sasa tumeikamilisha na kwa sababu hiyo hata ingawaje nilisema pengine mambo mengine itangojea lakini nilisema kuna mambo haitangojea mambo haingengojea ni elimu ya watoto wetu na ndio sababu hiyo nimeweka pesa ya kutosha katika masomo ya watoto wa Kenya Masomo ya watoto wa Kenya ni muhimu kwa kila mzazi. Kwa sababu pale kwa masomo ndio usawa unapatikana. Mtoto wa tajiri na maskini, mtoto wa hasla na rais, mtoto wa mwingine na mwingine wanakuwa sawa wakipata elimu. Na ndio sababu kati ya Januari between Januari and now tumeajiri walimu elfu hamsini na sita wapya ambao watatusaidia kutusomesha ya watoto wetu tunataka kila mzazi mtoto akienda shule apate kuna masomo kwa sababu kuna mwalimu pale na vile vile nimehakikisha ya kwamba pesa ya CDF zote tumelipa kwa wabunge wetu ndio pia watusaidie na kujenga mashule na kuhakikisha watoto wetu wanapata mahali pazuri pa kusoma vile vile tumetatua matatizo ilikuwa kwa tivet kulikuwa na gap kubwa ya funding kulikuwa na gap kubwa ya funding ya our universities na ndio nimetengeneza the largest budget in the history of Kenya ya elimu huyu machogu wenu wa hapa ndiye anasimamia karibu eh, one third ya budget ya Kenya Huyu mungwana anasimamia shilingi bilioni sita na thelathini ya elimu ya watoto wa Kenya. And I have deliberately made sure that the education of our children takes priority over many things. Kwa sababu pale katika masomo ya watoto wetu ndio tutatengeneza wafanyikazi wa leo, watumishi wa kesho na wale ambao watatusaidia kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya kwa siku za usoni. So we are going to work together in that space and I want to tell now our universities that we have changed the funding model so that we can instead of giving money to universities as grant to a university we are going to give money as scholarship to every student that you admit so that we can keep account of the money that is going to every university na mimi nataka nishukuru wale wote walinisaidia katika kuweka mawazo hayo pamoja ambayo ilitokana na mawazo mengi ya wa Kenya wetu Mimi nataka vile vile ni waulize ya kwamba kama wa Kenya Najua saa zingine siasa iko na mambo mengi kama nchi leo bado tunaagiza chakula food items shilingi bilioni tano kila mwaka kutoka nchi za nje na ndio mnasikia hii makelele yote ya gharama ya maisha na ni kweli gharama ya maisha inaanza na gharama ya chakula na ndio sababu dawa ya gharama ya maisha ni kupunguza kwanza gharama ya chakula. 
na kupunguza gharama ya chakula sio kwenda kupatiana pesa ya subsidy kwa mila mila hana chakula mila ni muti ya kusiaga mwenye chakula kutengeneza ni mkulima kwa nini mnafikiri unga inatoka kwa supermarket si unga inatoka kwa mahindi si mahindi inatoka kwa kwa jamba na mwenye jamba si ni mkulima So ndio tukasema ya kwamba kama tunataka kutatua tatizo hii na ndio mnaona tulipata shida ni kwa sababu wale marafiki zangu wengine walipeleka pesa wakapatia mila bilioni nane ikakuliwa kwa miezi mbili hakuna mtu aliona hiyo unga mimi nikabadilisha nikasema kwa sababu mwenye unga ni mkulima nimeweka karibu shilingi bilioni mbili kupunguza gharama ya mbolea na mimi nataka ni washukuru wakulima wakulima zaidi ya milioni mbili Kenya wamepata mbolea wakiwemo wakulima elfu saba wa hapa kisi wamepata mbolea wamezalisha chakula saa hizi hata magazeti yale walikuwa wanatupigia makelele watu ambao hawatuamini leo wamekubali gharama ya chakula imeanza kupungua sio kwa sababu tulipeleka subsidy kwa millers ni kwa sababu tulipeleka support kwa production kwa mkulima that is how we are going to deal with this thing in a very conclusive manner mimi nataka niwashukuru wakulima wakulima ndio wazalendo wakubwa kwa taifa letu la Kenya mwaka uliopita tulivuna kwa mfano mahindi magunia milioni 44 mwaka uliopita mwaka huu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tulienda pale Nyayo Stadium tukaomba Mungu atupatie mvua Mungu ni nani jameni alitupatia mvua tunamshukuru Mungu na tukawa na mpango ya subsidy ya fertilizer tumepatiana fertilizer magunia milioni ine kufikia sasa na kwa sababu hiyo ile 44 million tuli harvest last year this year by god's grace tutafikisha 61 million bags this year already the professionals have agreed we have a better harvest by far than last in fact we might have the best harvest this year in kenya's history mimi nataka niwaulize wakulima nikiwa hapa Kisii na nyinyi watu wa Kisii nyinyi ni watu wa bidii sana Mimi nataka niwaulize magunia mlitumia kufikia sasa ni magunia 1030 Hiyo ni kidogo sana Magunia kaunti ya e, Nakuru wametumia magunia 1400 Nyinyi ni 1030 hapa Narok ni magunia 1300. Eh Kakamega magunia 1200. Bungoma magunia 1400. Wazingishu magunia 1900. Kule Tanzania almost half a million bags. So matumizi yenu bado iko chini. Mimi I want to promise you. Mimi kazi yangu nitahakikisha mbolea imefika hapa kisi nyinyi kazi yenu ni kuhakikisha imefika shambani tunakubaliana si tunagawana kazi na nimeuliza viongozi wenzangu gavana wetu na wabunge mtusaidie ili wananchi hawa wasisafiri mahali mbali kwenda kutafuta hiyo mbolea hiyo mbolea ikuje karibu na wananchi hiyo mbolea pia kazi yangu ni kupunguza gharama yake nimepunguza sasa imefika 2500 Mkifanya bidii na tukishirikiana na nipate pesa mahali ingine kidogo naweza kupunguza tena lakini hapo 2500 si mbaya. Hata nyinyi mnakubali. Ama Eh hapo si mbaya. Ah hapo si mbaya. Hata nyinyi mnajua. Siyo kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja. Ile kitu mimi nataka ndio ifike huko kila mashinani. Na tumekubaliana pia hatutaki brokers 
na tatens na wezi ambao watakuja kununua hapa waende watanganye wakulima wauze pale no na ndio tumeweka system ya mtandao kila mtu utapata mambo yako kwa simu na tutashughulikia kila e, mkulima na ndio sababu tumeanza tena ku register najua kuna wakulima hawakuwa registered wakati tulikuwa tunafanya registration mapema mwaka huu so mi na wauliza wakulima wa Kisii na wakulima wa Kenya we are again registering farmers so that we can give you support as government for you to support our production so wakulima wote mimi nawatangazia mjiajiri mjisajili ili tuweze kuwa na idadi tujue ni nani ako na yeka ngapi anafanya kilimo gani ndio tujue vile ya kuwasaidia na mimi nauliza viongozi wenzangu let us assist farmers tuhakikisha kwamba hizo mbolea inafika mahali mkulima anaweza kuzipata nia yangu ni kuhakikisha kwamba we double the production of food crops in Kenya kwa sababu tayari tunatumia pesa zetu mimi nataka niwaulize wa Kenya iko maana kweli sisi tutumie bilioni tano kila mwaka kuagiza chakula ile ambayo tunaweza kuzalisha hapa Kenya iko maana so i am saying oil crops food crops hizi zingine zote tumekubaliana na magovernors tumekubaliana na wale wengine wote kila sehemu tuzalishe chakula tuondoe aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya miaka sitini sasa tutafikisha kama nchi huru hatuwezi kuwa tunalia njaa 60 years after independence and our farmers are ready to produce and that is why i will go out of my way to support every farmer so that we can eliminate the shame of hunger by producing enough food here at home in Kenya um vile vile kiwa mnazalisha chakula hapa kisi pia mnaweza kufanya kilimo ya dairy ya ngombe ya maziwa hapa kisi na mimi nataka niulize eh, viongozi wa hapa kisi kiongea kwanza na governor we have some milk coolers we want to support the dairy farmers in kisi county tunataka mketi chini kama county government tukubaliane tatumana eh, waziri na ps watakuja kuongea na nyinyi so that mtupatie location mahali tunaweza kuweka milk coolers so that we can improve the collection ya maziwa wakulima wapate pesa mfukoni na tuwe na chakula ya kutosha katika taifa letu tunaelewana jameni vile vile nilikubaliana na wananchi ya kwamba lazima tulisema kazi ni kazi si ndio hata ya mama boga si ni kazi ya muhimu na ndio nimesema tunajenga soko mia ine Kenya na hapa kisi tayari nimetangaza soko karibu kumi ambazo tutajengwa hapa kisi hapa keumbu tutajenga soko kubwa wewe dhahiri anza kujipanga soko eh, keroka tutajenga soko eh, tunajenga ogembo kwa huyu mwana nani mtu ya ogembo huyu mjamaa tutajenga hapo soko tunajenga nyakoe eh, kwa kwa huyu mwana nyakundi si ndio hapo kama ni south hapo ni south lakini ni karibu kwa kwako tuko na soko zingine nafikiri eh, motondo mwonga eh, masimba tunajenga soko kubwa pia pale na nitarudi hapa hivi karibuni kwa sababu tulikamilisha soko pale daraja mbili na tumekamilisha soko ingine marani na tumekamilisha soko ingine magena nikija kufungua hizo soko nitakuja pia kuangalia hii soko ya nyamache kwa sababu nasikia ya nyamache imetengenezwa namna hii namna hii nataka nijue huyo mwenye kutengenezwa namna hii namna hii anakaa sura namna gani si ndio i will come and see kwa sababu we had proposed kujenga pale a banana market ambaye ingesaidia wakulima wa ndizi kupanga mambo yao tunaelewana 
na vile vile tumekubaliana na county government zote za Kenya ya kwamba mimi I will support county government wakiweka pesa yao 250 million mimi nawapatia national government another 250 million tumekubaliana na huyu governor Simba ya Kisi tume tayari tumetangaza kandarasi ndio bwana governor tumetangaza kandarasi we want to build a county aggregation and in park eh, hapa kisi mahali tuta aggregate mazao yenu ile mnasema inaenda ina ina inakwama maimai kwa sababu ya jam ndizi naiva sasa hapa tutawatengenezea county aggregation mahali tutaweka cold room mnaweza kustow viazi kwa eh, mnaweza kustow ndizi kwa muda tunaweka cold room tunaweka storage tunaweka value addition tunaweka processing ndio hata ba, badala ya kutuma and process products tunafanya processing hapa kisi ndio iende ikiwa inaenda kwa supermarket ikiwa ready nyinyi mnanielewa so hiyo aggregation tunajenga alafu baadaye mimi nitajipanga vile nitaifanya equipment ya hiyo county aggregation and industrial park because we must begin to take into the market processed uh, uh, products na vile vile tuanze kutengeneza soko ya kimataifa uh, pale pia kuna mambo mengine mengi ambayo tutashirikiana na nyinyi mimi nakubaliana kabisa na nimeona wale mafundi wa soapstone wanafanya kazi mzuri sana it is actually some, one of the best products that we have in Kenya na nashukuru governor wetu ameenda akatafuta wale marafiki zetu mashemezi zake wamekuja na wamesema sasa watatusaidia na processing ile tu nitasaisha kidogo eh, simba you know i'm your friend ile nitasaisha kidogo mawe yetu wasibebe walete ile machine ya kuja kutengeneza itengeneze hapa kisi eh wa, wasibebe mawe ama mnasemaje simawe tu walete ile machine na kama wanahitaji msaada yangu mimi niko tayari niwasaidie walete machine hapa kisi tutengeneze factory kubwa vijana wa hapa kisi ndio wako chonjo kabisa wanajua vile ya kukarabati hiyo maneno ili ikitoka hapa itoke hapa ikiwa ikiwa finished product ikiwa kabisa na tumefanya value addition inaenda ikienda sokoni and we can do that again uh, together vile vile pale suneka tuko na um, hub ya msea ambayo imejengwa mjumbe wa pale alisema wa bonchari that uh, goodman alisema hapo mimi nataka ni kuhakikishia mheshimiwa we have a plan to put there common use facilities ya leather ya textile and other products uh, the ministry is handling um, and hata uh, mimi nikikuja wakati mmoja nitatembea pale nione exactly what's going on kwa sababu tunataka kuwa na pahali ambapo tunaweza kupatia ajira vijana at least 100 200 300 500 wa kufanya kazi pale Mwisho kabisa mimi nataka niwazungumzie watu wa kisi kwa jambo hili la affordable housing. Hapa kisi tuambiane ukweli shamba imekuwa ndogo. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Tukiendelea kugawa shamba vile tunagawa hivi karibuni hata shamba ya kuzalisha chakula itakosa. Na hii kisi ambayo inajulikana kwa chakula itaungana na Kenya ingine ambaye haina chakula ya kutosha and i don't think that is where we want to take kisi county or even our country so wacha tukubaliane tuwe na mpango ya affordable housing ili patala ya kukatakata mashamba yetu tutumie haya mashamba kuzalisha chakula tutafute mahali ya kuishi mahali ambapo tunaweza kuweka shule tuweke hospitali tuweke maji na shamba ile ingine tutumie kwa kuzalisha chakula tuko na hiyo mpango ambayo nimesukuma Kenya mzima hapa kisi tuko na the first 2000 houses 
mimi nitakuja kuanzisha kabla ya Disemba. Nimeambia wizara isukume ifike at least 3 or 4000 houses the first ones in Kisi. Nataka viongozi wote wanisaidie tushirikiane. Mahali ardhi imepatikana tuungane. County watusaidie approvals ndio tuharakishe kwa sababu katika hiyo mpango ya affordable housing tutapata faida na mara tatu. Ya kwanza hiyo 5000 nikifikisha hapa mimi nitahitaji vijana 1200 wa Kisi ambao watafanya kazi katika mpango ya affordable housing. Si tuko na vijana wa kutosha kwa kufanya hiyo kazi. Number two, itatusaidia kupunguza shida ambayo inatokana na land fragmentation which is threatening our food security. And number three, pia itatusaidia kusiwe na slums katika sehemu zenu zetu za mijini. So we want to work together in that manner. Watu wa kisi mnakubali tusaidiane katika hii program ya affordable housing? Sindio? Viongozi mnakubali jameni tushirikiane. Tupange ajira ya hawa vijana. Tusaidie kuzalisha chakula hapa kisi vile tunazalisha katika taifa letu la Kenya. I have already instructed the cereals and, uh, and, and the national cereals and produce board to double the amount of fertilizer coming to kisi. Saa hizi kuna magunia elfu wa msini. Ile haita kosekana ni mbolea kuwa kwa ma, ma masto yetu. Pengine nyinyi muregese kamba. Lakini mimi I will do my part. I will make sure continuously there is enough fertilizer so that we can increase our productivity and our production so that we can completely deal with the challenge of food insecurity in Kenya. Watu wakitusikia watu wengine watu tunasikia ati tuko na njaa wanatuona sisi ni watu hatuna mpango na i don't i don't think that is the country we want uh, to live in we want to live in a country where we have a good plan on how to go forward ya mwisho pia nimekubaliana na waziri wetu huyu machogu na waziri wa ICT kila ward na mimi najua MCS wako hapa kila ward tutaweka ICT hub because we now have opportunity to do and to engage in digital jobs nimekubaliana na wabunge wote ya kwamba kila mjumbe atapanga ICT ward ICT hub in every ward nilikuwa hapa kisi national polytechnic tumelete pale computer mbili ya training lakini sasa hiyo ni pale kisi eh, national polytechnic we want to have a similar program in every ward. Ninyi mnanielewa? Kwa sababu watu wa Marekani tumekubaliana na wao wanahitaji wafanyikazi katika mtandao. Watu wa Ujerumani tumekubaliana na wao rais wao alikuwa hapa. Watu wa kutoka um, Canada tuko na um, mkataba na wao wakati wa kutoka UAE rais wao atakuja hapa baadaye eh, mwaka huu tuko na mkuta, eh, mkataba na wao we need up to a million young people to be working on the digital space so and we want to atutaki vijana waende Nairobi tunataka tulete mtandao hapa nyumbani and that is why tunazungusha ICT hub in every ward nataka mabunge washirikiane na MCS so that we can tukubaliane hiyo mpango itaenda namna gani ndio tupange ajira ya vijana wetu wa taifa letu la Kenya so we want to work together in that manner na ndio sababu we are going to work differently najua hatujazoea kuongea mambo ya ajira tunaongeanga tu juju tunajua kuongea barabara tunajua kuongea stima lakini hatujui kuongea mambo ya ajira. This time around tunaongea hii mambo ya ajira. Because we need to speak about the economy. Development is okay, but we also need to do to speak about the economy. What changes people's lives? That's also very important. So tutashirikiana hivyo. Eh, Simba nataka ni kuhakikishia kwamba we have finished the procurement ya hospitali ya mother and child. We will give you the equipment. 
hakuna problem hapo uh, procurement ilikuwa na maneno kidogo na unajua lazima nikue chonjo wakora wasinivamie unajua kuna wakora kwa hii biashara wanakaa kaa pembeni pembeni na wamezoea so nimewakazia macho na nimewambia either mudahama Kenya ama mtaenda jela hakuna uh, there are not two ways about it so tumekubaliana that, that is moving on uh, properly pia tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutashirikiana serikali ya kitaifa na serikali ya county kwa mambo ya matibabu community health promoters tumekubaliana ya kwamba community health promoters italipwa nusu na county government na mimi nimejitolea hata ingawaje ni kazi ya county sisi pia tutalipa half kwa hawa community health uh, promoters na vile vile nimesema mimi kama national government tuta equip all of them at national government's cost kwa sababu tunataka kupeleka mambo ya matibabu mpaka mashinani na tuhakikisha kwamba wa Kenya wana eh, jumuika and we deal with the challenge of health at the very bottom tuhakikisha kwamba inakuwa bottom up so najua nimesema mambo mengi lakini ni ya muhimu kwa sababu unajua hii siasa iko na makelele mpaka hata watu wawajui mambo inaenda namna gani nimekubaliana na viongozi wote na mimi nataka niwapongeze viongozi wa KC kwa sababu mmeongea hapa mambo ya kuungana na kushirikiana na kuheshimiana pongezi muendelee na hiyo barabara na unajua kweli Mungu ni wajabu Unajua mara ya mwisho tulikutana vile tumekutana hivi. Tulikuwa kwa funeral kwa e, mangi pale. Na mnajua ile kisirani ilikuwa pale. <laughs> eh? Mpaka microphone ikapotea, vita ikatokea. <laughs> Lakini leo tumeketi hapa sisi ni watu wa starabu sana. Watu watashangaa kama sisi ndio wale tena tulikuwa pale. Lakini nawaambia ndugu zangu viongozi wa KC, please as was said by all the leaders here let us work together waje tuheshimiane tushirikiane tupange mambo ya viongozi hawa ya, ya wananchi hawa mambo yetu ya viongozi tatokea hapo mbele wananchi hawa tatuamua kila mtu aende na bidii so tutashirikiana namna hiyo na nakubaliana pia na viongozi wote waliosema hapa ya kwamba tuwe na desturi na tuwe na kiasi hata katika mambo ya siasa mimi kabisa sina shida kabisa na ndugu zangu watu wa upinzani they are a constitutional uh, entity just like the way we are a constitutional government so tu, lazima tuheshimiane hapo na wanafaa kuendesha kazi yao ya upinzani kulingana na katiba na sheria ya kuchunguza mambo ya serikali provide oversight kuhakikisha kwamba mambo hayaendi kombo tunashirikiana kupigana na ufisadi tunashirikiana kukwamisha mambo ambayo sio mazuri lakini ile mimi nawauliza viongozi wote tafadhali tusitumie watoto wa Kenya wananchi wa Kenya kupigana kulete fujo kuharibu mali ati kwa sababu ya maandamano no hiyo si vizuri kila kitu iko na te, eh, eh, mpango wake there is nowhere in the constitution or the law of kenya that has that says violence can be used to achieve anything there is nowhere in the constitution that you can organize people violently to achieve anything that's not uncon that's completely it is unpatriotic it is unconstitutional it is against the rule of law it is unpatriotic and it amounts to sabotage of your own country so mimi nawauliza viongozi wote wenzangu tushirikiane uchaguzi inafanyika kila baada ya miaka mitano wenye kusema ni wananchi wa Kenya wataamua so tusiwapiganishe tusilete fujo tuunganishe wananchi tuendelee na maendeleo na Kenya itakuwa bora kama nchi ambayo ni nchi yetu sisi zote. 
So that's all uh, I'm asking uh, fellow leaders to shirikiane na tuendele namna hiyo. So ndugu viongozi nimesikia mambo yenu uh, mlio sema mnahitaji uh, kujenga mahali fulani patron hata nitafuta anajua mahali akonipata ako na simu yangu hata ile ya whatsapp ako naye hata hata nitafuta na tutapanga hiyo maneno so mimi nataka niwashukuru jameni watu wa kisi nataka ni sema asante sana kwa kunikaribisha hapa nyumbani mjue mimi nawapenda sana na watakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na katika mipango yote ya serikali mjihesabu mku katikati ya mipango yetu yote asanteni sana nyasae abaseseni asanteni haya sote tumpongeze tena mheshimiwa rais kwa hotuba yake asante sana na tumefika mwisho wa ibada yetu ya leo na kwa sasa nitamuomba tu uh, bishop joseph otieno atufungie kwa maombi ili tuweze kutoka kwa hivyo sote tusimame kwa heshima ili tuweze kumalizia kwa maombi ekevu tuamini pamoja tunapopata maombi ya kutamatisha ibada yetu ya leo everlasting god our father in heaven thine is the kingdom the power and the glory we bow in worship and honor to you we trusted you for this day lord you brought it to come to pass we trusted you for a good beginning we trusted you to carry us through the day what a joy to see that we have come to the end you've granted us good weather there's been a sweet and harmonious environment around us we give you thanks we give you praise and glory lord now as we come to the end i desire that you may accept that we go under the cover of your wings i commit the entire congregation into your able hands beginning with our head of state let your hand of mercy remain upon him continue guiding him giving him good health giving him wisdom as he guides our great republic thank you lord for the leadership of the county government and the omoguzi people 